What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Okay, so we we had a long adventure, guys. A long adventure. Now it is finally time for us to move on ahead into, let's see, we're in Route 207. Trainer tips! Uh, Pokemon may be immobilized if they are asleep or paralyzed. If it happens, uh, it could be disastrous. If your opponent's Pokemon can't move, it's a big opportunity. Yeah, we kind of know that. Anywho, uh, in our last episode, we did some work. Beat a whole bunch of trainers, double battles, and all that stuff. Proved why I am pretty much, you know, I'm, I'm a shoo-in for a Pokemon League champion. Not really, but you guys know what I'm talking about. So, let's go right ahead and go for more double battles. And here we have a camper and a picnicker again. Huh. Okay, so... Here we are, taking on Camper Anthony and Picnicker Lauren. And they're going to be coming up with both Ponyta and Pachirisu. So it's like, we have a good we have a good chance right here. So, let's intimidate everybody. Except for, um, you know, our boy right here. You know, Smoke. And, what are we going? Okay, so let's go straight for a waterfall. That way, you know, hi, uh, Ponyta knows who, who the boss is. And... I don't know why you're getting a headache, so let's go ahead and uh, put Patrice to sleep. That way it doesn't hit us, because I know it's going to be targeting Hydra. It could be the next Pokemon to attack. That could be the case. And look at this! Smoke! Grows to level 24, and it wants to learn... Hex. Okay, so... Hex right here is a relentless attack that does massive damage to a target affected by status condition. Oh, wow. Uh... Yeah, we're gonna go with, uh, we're gonna take this away because it really hasn't done much for us as of late. So, there we go, we have learned Hex, and, uh, well, here comes a Hypnosis attack. And that way, Pachirisu does not attack any of our Pokémon. That prevents us any kind of, like, damage to, uh, Hydro because, well, we, we like to protect our Pokémon. So, let's go straight for another Waterfall attack. I wish Smoke had a Dream Eater, that way it would've been easier, but... Since it has a status attack, or a status effect, it would be... Yeah, it would be much more painful. So here comes a, a Hex attack. And it works perfectly. So it's a good combination of both Hypnosis and Hex. And, well, look at that. Electro Star grows level 25. And, yes, our Pokemon are now saved. Okay, so he's not happy. She's not happy as well. Yes. Okay, so let's see who is next right here. We're gonna grab this and we found ourselves a super potion That is not a bad a bad thing and Well here we have this guy. I just got through Mount Coronet, but we still have got fuel in the tank True, okay, so here we are taking on hiker Justin and Well here comes a geodude and uh, wow people are People have really got to stop texting me at this hour. It's like they know. Probably they know. I don't know. Okay, so here we have Hydra. We got a move that can work. And while this is happening, I'm texting. Let's see. And bam. Okay. So we get some points and, uh, well, He's going to be coming out with a Bronzor. So let's go with Monfernomon. And let's let's go ahead and just destroy people right here. So here we go. Monfernomon ready to throw some hands right here. And here's a Bronzor. Now we both have a, we both have a weakness towards each other. But Monfernomon, strong AF. It will win. Look at that. Bronzor defeated. And that's how you do it, guys. That is how you do it, and Toothless grows to level 21 right there. And Hiker Justin has been defeated. Alrighty, okay, alright. Okay, so uh, before we do anything, I think... Yeah, you can go right here. So you can go towards this corner and battle some of these people. Now, before we battle that youngster, let's go ahead and give Toothless uh, a bit of love right here. So... Bring it on. I wear shorts the whole year. I've got energy to burn. Yeah, I'm in the same boat, too. I wear shorts pretty much every single day. I... Yeah, I just... Pants... I, pants don't work for me, I guess. And, well, would you look at that? Starly is coming out. And here we have Toothless. 
If you guys don't remember, about two episodes ago, we traded for a Toothless, or a Gibble, and, uh, and Smoke, because, well, it's going to be a while before we even catch any one of these Pokemon. I don't necessarily have the time to do any kind of the underground thing, except for maybe just train your Pokemon. And bam, look at that. More more levelings. Monfernomon just destroying everything. And well, he's gonna he's gonna be coming out with a chimchar. This is gonna be easy for me. Alright. Bring on that chimchar. Let's go. Bulldoze attack for the win. And here comes a leer. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so the defense is going down. Here comes a bulldoze. Oh uh, yes. That's how you do it. And, well, it's super effective. Chimchar, not happy. And we get some more points. And he's going to be coming out with a Geodude. We're going to continue on right here with the good old Toothless. All right, Land Shark, let's get it. Oh, yeah, Bulldoze is really kicking some butt. It really is. Okay. There you go. And, uh, well, more experience points for all of us. I still can't believe that the experience points is just like it's... The amount of experience points you get here is so low that they they want you to struggle and whatnot. And there are nothing there's nothing right here. Except for the battle girl right here. And uh Well, let's go ahead and give some love to Garchomp or not Garchomp, but uh Toothless. Okay, alrighty. Alright, alright. And here we are taking on Hiker Kevin. And he will be coming out with his Geodude. Alrighty. Okay, let's go, Toothless. What's up? How's it going? It's going very well. And, uh, oh, wow. I didn't want to use Sand Tomb, but it's still... Eh, it still work. Look at that. Okay. And that is super effective. And... Okay, so that makes sense. I get to sleep in, guys. Okay. Here we go. You are, uh... You are easily losing a little bit of HP. But we're gonna go with, the. Uh, you know, bulldoze attack because BAM! There you go, type advantages. You gotta love them, you really do. And... Well, there goes Geodude. And there goes some more points. Again, we're gonna be... Yeah, screw it, we're just gonna be battling with the... With good old uh, Toothless right here. And... You know, like I said before guys, I do miss the... I do miss the, the speed button because at least it, it would make these battles a lot quicker. Albeit that I might make a mistake here and there. And look at that. Smoke has grown to level 25. And bro, don't you have more like more don't you have anything other than Geodudes? I guess we'll have to find out once we re-challenge and all that stuff. So there you go. And this one has sturdy. And its speed has fallen. And Well, here comes a a rock polish attack. Okay, so. That right there will raise its speed, or it raises its speed a little bit. So here we go. We are using the quick claw. That's right. Yeah, we got the quick claw on this Pokemon just in case. And well, there goes Geodude. Say goodbye. Oh yes. Oh yes. And well, here comes a Zubat. So let's go ahead and switch it out. Let's uh, let's go with Electro Star right here. You gotta love the scenery too. It's like we are in the mountain. And or up in the hills somewhere, but it doesn't it doesn't really show that much. And well, let's go right ahead. And yeah, not intimidate anybody or use any kind of inner focus. So let's go let's go with a spark attack. And just like it, there it is. Spark attack does its trick. Yeah, buddy. Okay, and how come we like how come we're getting so like it's bugging the crap out of me with where when we're getting less points for everything. Like, what's his face should have been uh, at level 23. But hey, Digivolution time. Here we have Smoke is finally evolving. You guys already know what that means. The next episode, I am trading for this Pokemon yet again. Or I'm trading for a Gengar and then trading it back. You guys know what I mean. So there it is, guys. We got Haunter. Okay. All right. All right. And because it evolved, we get a new page into the Pokedex. As you guys can see, Haunter is a ghost and poison type Pokemon. Okay? Gas Pokemon. It can slip through any obstacle. It lurks inside walls to keep eyes on its foes. It's a scary Pokemon, and it wants to learn Shadow Punch. Yes, I am going to teach it Shadow Punch. Now, 
It is a physical attack, but it never misses. Uh, crud. There, there are no roaming Pokemon here, right? Could be wrong. But I could use Curse. Hmm. Hmm. Do we have roaming Pokemon? Nah, it really doesn't matter. Uh, I can get, I can always get another Haunter. So I'm gonna switch it out for for Mean Look for just a bit. I think you can relearn that attack uh, if you have a hard scale. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. So there we have it, another evolution. And once we get to this corner, we get ourselves a dire hit, which will increase the critical hate ratio. And well, let's see, we're gonna be swapping out. Swapping out. And I didn't want to go for that guy. So let's go straight for Starblade because Starblade needs a little bit of love, okay? We got a fighting type trainer right here. And she wants to throw hands to. Okay, okay, let's be quick about this. She sounds very violent. She sounds like she chose she chose uh, she chooses violence every single day. So here we go, taking on Battle Girl Helen. And she will be coming out with a Meditite right here. And, well, Starblade, you know you can do it. I know you can do it. And here we have an Intimidate on a Pokemon that doesn't necessarily, well, physically hit us. So we're going to go straight for a Wing Attack here. And just like that, Wing Attack does it. Oh, my God. Wing Attack does it. And, well, Gyarados should have been at level 23 all, like, a few minutes ago. This is getting on my case. So let's eliminate Machop, and here comes the wing attack, and bam, there goes Machop. It's not a happy camper right now, and well, bam, finally level 23. Hydra, Hydra's making it hard for me to just, we would be getting more experience points if, if this was the regular version, but this is getting, this is getting out of control, guys. Anywho, um, let's see, you know what, I am going to go to the, I'm gonna go here because I just realized something. Okay, so we got a VS Seeker. I'm gonna register that just in case. Okay, and then there, I think we got ourselves a down. Oh yeah, we do have a dowsing machine, but it's right here. And uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and poke around just a little bit. And, well, Pokemon loving us. And here is the dowsing machine. Very inconvenient. Yeah, it's very inconvenient. I don't know why I have it on here. So, let's see. If there was an item right there, I would know. So, the last thing we need to do is before we go into this cave, or actually, it doesn't happen. We already did. Mount Coronet. Hmm. All right. Mount Coronet is very famous because, you know, it's very long. There's a lot of things that you can find here, and it is the key to getting somewhere where you need to be. Now, here we have an individual walking straight towards us. According to the theory, to one theory, Mount Coronet is where Sinnoh region began. In a newly created world, a world where only time flowed and space expanded, there should have been no strife. But what became of that world? Because the human spirit is weak and incomplete, strife has spread. This world is being uh, ruined by it. I find that's I find the state of things to be deplorable. Okay. He is very mysterious, a very very mysterious person. And well, there are two ways to get around here. I choose the long way, but yes, we're gonna get attacked by a Pokemon, and that Pokemon happens to be a Geo Dude. Didn't we trade a Pokemon for a Pokemon or for a Geo Dude? I think we did. And we are not going to take on this Geodude just yet. So let's go right ahead and walk away. Walk away from a battle. And you know what? In order to prevent that, this is why this is why we bought these items. So let's see. Actually, no. Right here. Where the heck are they? Oh, there. Right there. Let's go with a repel. And we used the majority of those repels in the last cave, yeah, the last cave uh, in the other episode. And well, there we go. We found ourselves an ether. That's gonna be a very useful item later on into our adventure right here. And then, well, let's see. 
Yeah, we can crack open these things. You will be able to find some different Pokemon, but I would I would advise against it just because it's not the best Pokemon you'll find. So before we go into our time limit, I'm gonna flip off and flip on right here. So I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so here we are in Route 208, and uh, well, there are gonna be some more trainers to battle along the way. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be switching uh switching out our Pokemon. We're gonna go with Hydra because these guys. These guys are making it hard for my Hydra to just grow levels and stuff. Already we know Hydra is the toughest Pokemon to actually train right here, alongside uh, Toothless. So here we are taking on Hiker Robber, and he is going to be coming out with a Geodude right here. And, well, Hydra looking uh, pretty uh, fantastic right here. You know, one of these days I'm actually going to capture myself a, a, a shiny one right here, and then... We're definitely going to be dominant. So here we go. Waterfall attack for the win. There goes Geodude. Yes. Okay. Alrighty. And then there we go. Toothless grows into the level. Level 22. And yeah, we're not switching out our Pokemon. We're just going to keep on destroying them with good old Hydra right here. Alrighty. So let's go straight. Waterfall. And the Waterfall does the trick. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're winning. We win either way, and well, Hiker Robert is not happy about this. One of these days, I'm going to see these guys smack their belly. I just want to see that. I don't know why. Okay, well, let's see. Battle this guy right here, and he's like, "This Karate Man will pulverize you." All right, he will pulverize us. So here we go, taking on Ryu from uh, Street Fighter, and I'm drinking water because I can. Alrighty, so here we go, Hydra, how's it going? And here comes the Intimidate, so let's go right ahead and lay the smack it down on this Pokemon's you know what. So, let's go straight for a Waterfall attack. Machop, not happy right now. Was never going to be happy with me. And, well, Black Belt Kyle is not liking it, but he is saluting us. He's like, lack of power. He does look like Ryu from Street Fighter. It's kind of ironic, huh? Okay, so we're going to go here, and we're going to grab this. We get ourselves an X speed. This, well, as many of you guys already know, increases our speed during the battle. And we are not going to be using another repel because, well, there's no Pokemon here. Can't swim because, well, yeah. And here we are about to take on another hiker. Either way, I would have given you food, but embarrassing you would be nice. So here we go. Hiker Jonathan. And yes, he's gonna he's gonna come out with my mortal enemy, Onyx. Yeah, didn't I trade that Pokemon away too? I did, didn't I? All right, Hydra, do your thing, intimidate your Pokemon, and let's go straight for a waterfall attack. There we go, waterfall, and oh wow, it has sturdy, and it was a critical hit. Onyx has sturdy, and here comes a bind attack. So how does that work when two snakes fight? Aren't they both hurting each other? Comment down below if you guys know this. And yes, we're getting hurt by snake or by bind. So let's go straight for a waterfall. And here it is. Waterfall for the win. Super effective. Yeah. Okay. And there we go. More points for us. Hiker Jonathan is not pleased. And well, let's move on to the next thing right here. Let's go right here and break this rock and see what this item is all about. Again, I love the fact that one of the apps, and this is a Pokeball, regular Pokeball. I love that the apps enable us to, what was it, to break or to use HM moves now. And, well, there is going to be a trainer right there. Let's go ahead and go back to Monfernomon and put on a repel because there are some Pokemon here that you can capture. And let's see. There we go. We're, we're finding ourselves a jar of honey. That will enable us to actually find some Pokemon right here. There's actually three trainers right here. Let's see. What are you all about? Uh, don't say a word. Just take it. And we get ourselves an odd keystone, which, if you guys don't know, this actually wakes up a Pokemon. And yes, we do want to have a battle. Let's go right ahead and have a battle. So, here we go, taking on Aroma Lady Hannah. And she will be coming out with a combi right here. 
And this is the male version. If you guys don't know, in Pokemon, yeah, Combi, male Combis don't evolve, but the females do. They turn into Vespa Queen. Kind of a reference to like the bees right here. So there we go, Combi gets it, and oh no, not Combi. <laughs> Monfernomon keeps on destroying people, and she's about to come out with a Roselia. So let's go right ahead and take on this Roselia right here. Shoot, so, let's go, flamethrower or flame uh, wheel. And just like that, Roselia has been defeated. Oh, uh, yes. Okay, so there we go. And Hannah does not like it. Yeah, she has been beaten. Okay. So, let's go right ahead and pick out some berries right here. We got two Nana berries. And let's see. What about this one right here? We got two raspberries. We get the reference, the raspberries. And let's go with this one. We got ourselves two peanut berries, and let's see, what about this one? Here we go, two blood berries, and the two blood berries work. Okay, so now if you go right here, this is the berry master's house. You can come in and I believe they'll give you a a berry plus I think uh, some t like some a, a sprinkler or something. So this is the berry master. Everyone seems to call me the berry master. I hand out berries daily because I want people to, uh, to learn how wonderful they are. You're deserving of one. And yes, we got ourselves a Rouseberry. A Rouseberry. That's a good one. And well, what if we talk to her? Uh, would you like some berries? Plump and ripe. And oh yeah, you get to buy some berries. Okay. That's not bad. I could buy every single berry if I wanted to. So I, I will be back for that. And if we talk to this lady, are you forgetful type that loses track of their berries and where they're planted? Yes. Yes, I thought the same way. So, the town map does have, uh, I guess the town map has an application to where you can see where the, where the different kinds of berries are. And here we have one more trainer. You and I! Let us create a scene and fantastic tableau of, uh, battle. Hmm. I don't understand what you just said, but... I'm thinking you want to battle. So here we go, taking on William, or Artist William. And he is coming out with a Mime Jr. Monfernomon. Oh yes, Monfernomon is about to, yeah, Monfernomon is about to just destroy everybody right here. So here we go, Monfernomon, Flame Wheel. And there we go, Mr. Mime, or Mime Jr. <laughs> defeated. And, well, here comes a Bonsley. Now Bonsley, I think it is still a rock type Pokemon. I could be wrong. Hmm. I could be wrong, so let's go right ahead and see what it is with Hydra. And here comes a Bonsley. And, well, you gotta love the Intimidate right here. Sue, so let's go right ahead and do the Waterfall attack. Eventually, it's gonna have to learn some kind of uh, other move, or we're gonna have to find a move for it. And that was super effective. Say goodbye to Bonsley. And just like that, we are victorious. Oh, yes. Victory for us. Yeah, buddy. Okay. So I think that's pretty much it right here. This will lead us into Route route 208, I believe. Yes. Okay. So we're walking here. Talk to this lady. If you say if you say Heart Home City, I only say Super Contest shows. I'm going to enter my darling Pokemon in them. I am not because that's not what I'm all about. And this is a... Yeah, okay. So Heart Home City. That is exactly where we're going, and, well, something happens right here, and that is a Baneri just bumps into us, and this lady's just going to be like, oh, thank goodness that you happen to be there. If it, were, if, if, if it weren't for you, who knows how far away my Baneri would have run. Baby Baneri, back into the Pokeball you go. I'm Kira, the Super Contest Show judge. Please drop by the contest hall so I can thank you properly. Yeah, I don't I don't know why they would add contests. It's never been my thing, guys. I, I've only ever completed one super uh, contest. One contest, and that was in Pokemon Emerald. And trust me, the, the, the prize wasn't that fantastic or anything. It might, have, well, it might as well change. So anywho, guys, we're going to stop it right here. In the next episode, we're going to be exploring Heart Home City. And, yeah, we, we're not going to get a badge yet, so we're going to see what happens, okay? So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being supportive, as always. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Walkthrough. See you guys.